Hello, I'm Debbie Pollard, Public Works Director for the City. One thing you may not know about Public Works is that we're driven by innovation and sustainability, just like many of you are. In fact, this truck that I'm sitting in and all of our heavy equipment is fueled with 100% renewable diesel. This helps the city meet its climate action plan goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Last year at our water pollution control plant, we finished installation of a one megawatt solar array project, which was funded in part by a $1.9 million grant from the California Energy Commission. This project produces approximately half of the plant's energy needs. Using solar is not only good for the environment, but it helps keep rates in check. Also at the plant, we have nearly completed the design phase of a new project that will eliminate the city's reliance on chlorine. Instead, using nearby wetlands to naturally clean the wastewater. The project is funded by a Measure AA grant from the San Francisco Bay Restoration Authority, and we hope to begin construction next year. Also at the plant, we are in the construction phase of a project that includes battery storage, as well as reducing our methane flare-offs by producing CNG. The battery storage gets us one step closer to being net zero for energy consumption and the production of CNG gives us a new revenue source at the plant. Switching over to parks, about half of them have wells on site. This allows us to reduce our reliance on potable water and keep the parks green during drought years. In addition, with smart irrigation clocks, this allows us to use water much more wisely and efficiently. Looking into the future, we're currently working on projects to build out our electric vehicle or EV infrastructure so that more electric vehicles can be purchased for the city fleet in the future. When we incorporate sustainability into the work that we do, it not only is good for the environment, but it helps the city's bottom line as well as the ratepayers that we serve. Finally, the work that Public Works staff perform could not be done without the support of our residents and businesses. Please feel free to download the My SL app and let us know if you have any concerns or issues, or give us a call. We'll see you out in the community. Hi, San Leandro. My name is Sheila Marquises, a San Leandro High School alumna and the Engineering and Transportation Director. The city has recently remodeled the South offices and created new public meeting room dedicated to Serlene G. Grant, San Leandro's first African-American city council member. The room features state-of-the-art audio and video equipment that can live stream public meetings. The city has reduced the number of travel lanes on Fairmont Drive between East 14th Street and Hesperian Boulevard from three lanes down to two lanes in each direction and installed class four bike lanes with concrete buffers. Class four bike lanes are separated from the vehicular traffic for the exclusive use of bicyclists, creating a safer path for San Leandrians to ride their bikes to the Bayfair BART station. We have several more protected bike lanes in the pipeline for our crosstown multimodal corridor project along Bancroft Avenue, William Street, San Leandro Boulevard, and East 14th Street. So please visit our city website to provide your feedback. COVID-19 has presented several challenges to city operations. However, the Engineering and Transportation Department has adapted by using various productivity and project management tools, programs, and software like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Planner, Adobe Signs and Bluebeam to continue to deliver services to our community, our residents and businesses while working remotely while protecting public health. Join us to keep San Leandro a better place to live, work and play.